Hey guys, Zach here. Um, welcome back to another unboxing video. So, normally, I said this in the past, I'm not gonna do unboxing videos on figures I don't plan on reviewing, because, you know, it defeats the whole purpose. And, I don't plan on reviewing these figures, but, the reason why I make an exception for this is because one of the figures in here is one that I've been trying to, I've been wanting for about 10 years, and I've just been never able to get it. And it broke my heart, you know. I, well, I'll talk more about that once we actually open up this box. Because I am really excited. And the reason why I'm doing this unboxing video is because I want to record my reaction to this. Because this is like a figure, you don't understand. I've been wanting this figure since I was like 10 or 11 or something like that. So I was like, yeah, I need to have this figure. But I was never able to because my mom, for good reason, uh, mint in box, this figure would be like 100 bucks, which... For the time it was expensive, but now, like, if you want this thing in, like, mint in the box, it's like 500, 600, something crazy. But I found it loose with one accessory, and I bought another figure with it, too. So, in total, I paid a little under $200, which I'd say is fair. These are pretty rare figures, so, yeah. Uh, before I get into this, I just want to show off this really cool uh, mug I found. I work, I work next to a flea market, and they had this cool uh, vintage Jurassic Park mug. And has like a lot of uh, the Crash McCurry artwork on it. I love his artwork, you know. Uh, he's a great artist, so yeah, that was definitely a plus for me. Got it for ten bucks. So yeah, um, so this unboxing video is ten years in the making. So yeah, let's let's just get right into this. You want to see it, and I want to see it too. So yeah. There are two figures in here. One of them, like, wasn't one I was trying to get after, but it was still, like, um, like, it was there, so I might as well. So, yeah, anyway, how are you guys doing today? Oh, that's, that's good to hear. That is very good to hear. If you had a good day, awesome. If you didn't, I am... So it looks like they're both in here. Oh. These are durable figures, but like, they're very rare. So it's like, I don't want to like, damage them in any way, shape, or form. Ugh. Very tight. I knocked uh, what my camera's holding, so I apologize for that. Another... Oh. These things are protected. Holy shit. Excuse my language, but it's like, you know, Kappa, it's like... Ooh. Oh, I... Ooh. Ooh, I just had a glimpse. I'm... I'm a 20-year-old man. I shouldn't be getting, like, as sentimental about this, but it's just... Oh, so, wow, <laughs> oh my, dude, I don't know what to say, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, but I kinda want to. I'm a 20-year-old man getting hype over a little Sonic the Hedgehog toy. Basically, what this is, right? Um, this is the Resource Sonic Adventure Sonic the Hedgehog figure. Um, so basically, back in like 98, Sonic Adventure was like Sonic's big transition into 3D. Not like Sonic 3D Blast or like, you know, the little games like that. This was like Sonic's first like big you know, transition to 3D. So, of course, the marketing for it was huge. So, there were, like, toys, trading cards, plushies. There was, like, everything based on this game. And the company that made the figures for Sonic Adventure was uh, a company called Resource. Unfortunately, they are no longer in business, which is uh, kind of a shame. But, um... Yeah, and, like, the, new, the Sonic figures go for, like, ridiculous amounts of money. 
So it's just like... Yeah. So, this is the figure I've been wanting... This is the figure. Um, well, actually, we'll get... We'll hold off on that, because there is another figure in here. Oh. Ooh, that... Mm. I don't like how Knuckle... Ooh. Spoiler alert, I bought Knuckles, too. I don't... Ooh, I don't really like how he was packaged. Um, but yeah, this is Knuckles. His legs are a little warped, but he can still stand. I take, like, a hair blow dryer to it, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to... I don't want to damage this, because this fit... Knuckles was $80, but Sonic was, um, $100. So, yeah. I am going to get Tails one day in the future. I'll probably order him tomorrow, or something like that when I get paid. Because Tails is very cheap. He's, like, 50 or something like that. So, yeah, I bought Knuckles and Sonic from the same seller. So... This feels so good. The, I like again. I'm like a 20 year old man getting excited over little Sonic the Hedgehog toys. I know that's not the most like you know masculine thing ever, but it's just like, oh my god, these are figures I've been wanting for so long. At least the Sonic one. The Knuckles, like, not so much, but um, oh my, this is great. Oh my god, this is... Oh, I'm so happy. So, yeah, these are toys that came out to promote Sonic Adventure. There are two series of this uh, set. There was one that included Sonic, Knuckles, which of these two entails. And then there was a series two that included Amy, Big the Cat, uh, E-102 Gamma, and um, a skiing Sonic for some reason. But, yeah, I probably won't get the second series of figures. I'll probably just get the first three and call it a day. Uh, that Gamma figure looks really, really nice, though, but, yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm, I don't know what to say. This is just such a good feeling to me, you know, it's just, oh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I searched it up, because, like, you know, because this figure, even loose, is, like, pretty expensive. Like, bordering, like, 150 or something like that. And he's in really good shape, too. Yeah. So, of course, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna handle these guys too much, but, like... Oh, my God, I am just... I don't know what else to say. This is just... Oh, this is the best thing ever. Actually, funny enough, um, Sonic Adventure, uh, the GameCube port, the DX, the stinky, stinky Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, um, that was actually the first Sonic game I ever played. So even though that's not, like, the original Dreamcast, like, Sonic Adventure game, uh, these figures, like, you know, are in association with that port, so it's, like, this is just really nice, like... Again, I, I just don't know what else to say. This is... Oh, my God. Like, I've been wanting... At least the Sonic, I've been wanting him for 10 years. But now that I actually have him, it's like... Dude. What a great feeling. But, yeah. So, I'm just... <sighs> I'm, I know I keep going on. This video is already at, like, almost 9 minutes. I should just, like... Should have ended it by now. But it's just like... Oh, I don't know what else... This is... <sighs> It's so nice. It's so nice. Um, yeah, so if you want me to review these guys, uh, please let me know. I didn't plan on it, but if people really want me to review them, then I will no problem at all review these guys because holy shit, like, oh, this is great. This is great. Sonic can stand in the bag, but man, but anyway, this unboxing video has been going on for far too long now. So, we got some awesome Resource Sonic the Hedgehog figures. And I got a cool Jurassic Park monk today. So, yeah, that is great. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Um, have a great rest of your week. And I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.